All right. It is Friday, August 3rd, 2018 at 1.59 p.m. All right. Came across this article. Uh, collapse of endangered dam will leave parts of Lynchburg, Virginia under 17 feet of water. Apparently last night uh, there were a lot of uh, tweets that I saw and posts of the possibility of a dam break in Lynchburg, Virginia. And here's the article. The National Weather Service says up to six inches of rain fell within hours, filling College Lake near Lynchburg, Virginia, and beyond capacity. A failure of the College Dam could allow could flood parts of Lynchburg, Virginia, with 17 feet of water in just seven minutes. Official officials in Lynchburg and South Central Virginia warned that a local dam faced imminent failure and its collapse would inundate parts of the city with 17 feet of water in just 7 minutes. Most at risk were some 124 houses in the city of 80,000. Lynchburg is located in the Blue Ridge Mountains, about 50 miles from Roanoke. It, it is the host of several institutions of higher education, including the University of Lynchburg and Liberty University. The University of Lynchburg announced that it would be closing for the day at 1 p.m. due to the flood threat. County officials who reported the College Lake Dam was near collapse late Thursday were looking for signs of structural failure early Friday as water continued to spill over the structure. The dam has been under survey by the city for years as a safety hazard. Local fire and police sent boats to rescue people to area shelters late Thursday as some creeks were already feeling the overflow from the dam. The fear of widespread flooding was triggered by a deluge of rain soaked Virginia that brought up to three inches of rain in one hour in the Lynchburg area Thursday. The National Weather Service warning of dangerous situation said early Friday that runoff from Thursday's heavy rain will continue to cause flooding across the area and additional heavy rain may create new flooding. The Weather Service has extended a flash flood warning for the region Thursday through Friday evening because of the possibility of additional showers and thunderstorms. Yeah, so if you live in this area, please seek shelter or um, uh, move to a safer area away from uh, the spillway of the dam because if that dam breaks, you would not want to be in a wave of 17 foot of water under 7 minutes. Um, yeah, just wanted to share that information out, and if there are still people, because the, the news had already been shared, but if there are still people who have not been aware of this information, you know, it's good to share that and help save some lives. Alright, next article. Deadly flooding displaces more than 120,000 in Myanmar. Heavy rains to persist into next week. Recent monsoon downpours have caused significant flooding across Myanmar, killing at least 16 people and displacing more than 120,000 others. Three of the fatalities were soldiers that were swept away in flood waters during a rescue operation, according to the country's disaster management department. The number of deaths and those displaced may be higher as flooding has delayed the arrival of rescue teams to some of the most impacted areas. Daily downpours have inundated much of the coastal and southern Myanmar since the, since the start of last week and little change is expected in the coming days. You see here the map of uh, showing the darkest green of the heaviest downpour in the areas close to New Delhi, Lucknow, and Kolkata. Yeah, there's a lot of rain happening in China and parts of India right now. So much rain happening on this planet right now. I don't know if it's because of the the melt of the ice caps that more rain is being added to to our system on the planet, but there's a lot of rain happening. All right, daily downpours have inundated much of the most of the coastal and southern Myanmar since the start of last week. A little change is expected in the coming days. Members of Myanmar rescue team carry residents in a boat to travel along a flooded road in Biago. About 80 kilometers or 50 miles northeast of Yangon, Myanmar, Sunday, July 29th, 2018. You see people here, It's the water's about waist deep, and people in boats, the rescue people um, car are carrying people in boats to safety. Please stay safe out there, guys. Rain's apparently not a joke. Alright, Hector, Hurricane Hector. 
Apparently a hurricane has been developing in the Pacific and it is uh, expected to reach Hawaii or the area of Hawaii. We're not sure if it's going to be, you know, uh, forecasted to actually reach Hawaii, but it is forecasted to reach the area of Hawaii by 5 a.m. Wednesday. All right. At 11 a.m., the National Hurricane Center said Hurricane Hector had weakened slightly, but is expected to strengthen and become a major hurricane. As of the latest advisory, the center of Hurricane Hector was located about 1,780 miles east of Hilo, Hawaii. Okay, maximum sustained winds is 90 miles per hour, movement west at 12 miles per hour. Here you see a little map of where it was last mapped at a.m. Friday of 5 a.m., at 5 p.m. Saturday and 5 a.m. Sunday, it's expected to get, go to the west. And by 5 a.m. Wednesday, it, it should be really close to the islands. All right, let's look at a IR loop of Hector. It is forming an eye. You see, it is fighting to form an eye there in the middle. It is building up. It is a, a young hurricane, you know. It's hopefully it will not impact Hawaii and it will somehow veer south like usually uh, hurricanes uh, that get close to Hawaii. They, they don't usually hit, hit head on onto the island. All right, let's look at our IR loop. Hector's here on the left of the map. Heading to the west. All right. And we see here uh, also there's a lot of rain in the Gulf and it is still feeding that band of uh, rain and precipitation going up the east coast. Yeah, there's a lot of rain happening right now in South Carolina and North Carolina and a lot happening up the east coast uh, towards Canada. Let's look at the Atlantic wide. Um, a lot of precipitation just came off of the coast of Africa. Um, that is something to watch. I don't know if it will actually turn into a hurricane in the uh, in the Atlantic, but uh, hopefully it will stay towards the equator and not cause hurricane. Because that's all we need: flooding up all, all up the east coast, dams possibly breaking a hurricane close to Hawaii while, while a volcano is happening in Hawaii and then a hurricane on the on the east coast. That would just suck. So um, let's keep an eye on that. And also there's a lot of precipitation and rain by Cuba. Uh, I'm not sure if it will reach Florida, but it looks like it's veering to the west and it probably might go into the Gulf. All right, that's it for today's video. Thanks for stopping by.